carbon-14 is an isotope of carbon which has been formed in the atmosphere due to cosmic rays hitting nitrogen in the upper atmosphere such that they then produce carbon-14 instead of nitrogen it actually changes to carbon but with the same molecular weight carbon-14. Then that breaks down over 5,700 years, 5,730 years, the carbon-14 comes to half its original value. The half-life of carbon-14 is then 5,700 years. So it decays in geological terms very fast indeed to, um, to half its original amount of carbon-14. After 57,000 years, you've had 10 half-lives. After 114,000 years, you've had 20 half-lives. In terms of thousands of years, 10 half-lives is 57,000 years. 20 half-lives is 114,000 years. So once you've reached 20 half-lives, you've reached one millionth because you've got one over two to the power 10 times one over two to the power 10, which is one over 1,024 times one over 1,024. So 20 half-lives, 114,000 years, means that you've basically all but lost everything of the carbon-14 that was originally there. Now get this, coal consistently is recorded as having carbon-14 traces found in it. doesn't matter where you are. The carbon-14 is found with significant amounts of... The coal is found with significant amounts of carbon-14 still there when it should have all gone. Well, it does mean that the coal could not be older than 100,000 years because uh, all the coal... All the carbon-14 should have disappeared by then, but it hasn't. And yet coal is traditionally dated, depending where you are in the geological column. It will be debated as old as 200,000 years for Triassic coal, or maybe to, uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, 200 million years. I said 200,000. 200 million years old. And, and yet you also find carboniferous and uh, Jurassic coal further up and that would be supposedly a hundred million years old but no way could any of these coal fields be much older than a few tens of thousands of years old. Indeed if you actually say that the amount of carbon-14 in the atmosphere was not the same in the past as today and you say that there was less carbon-14 in the atmosphere in the past, then the ages that you get of 30,000 years for coal, even, even that, of course, is totally against the millions of years, but the 30,000 years collapses down to a few thousand years, which is the biblical time scale. That's on the basis of saying that the amount of carbon-14 in the atmosphere in the past may have been much less than today, and that's very reasonable to suggest that.